Hi there, and this is my Guitar Fingers 2 minute uh, video relating to Barres. Uh, so this is a move on from the uh, two other Barre uh, studies that I've done which related to uh, three finger Barres um, and uh, full Barres. And we're going to expand on that. Those were primarily to do with minor chords, so kind of a sad sound. And this time we're going to look at major barres to get a happier sound. Um, we're going to look at uh, four, five and full barres uh, across all six strings. So we've got different options and that uh, will enable us to play many, many types of songs now. So uh, I've put a sheet up there called Barre uh, Examples for Bossa Nova. Um, I've done four examples. Actually, one of them isn't a barre, but uh, it's something that's very useful to have. Uh, in relation to uh, the songs that you might pick up in syllabuses such as uh, Trinity and ABSRM and uh, uh, the rhythms that are going to be there as well. So I've done four examples and let's have a look straight away at the first one, example number one. So example number one, we I put down a four over six. Um, so you often see that as written as a half, uh, half bar A, uh, and it could just be written as half, so it generally means it's not a full bar, a six strings, but it could mean four, three, or even five strings as well. Uh, the way to find out is to really just form the bar and find out how many strings you're going to be playing across. So the first one uh, is going to be uh, the A major, so we've got a bar at fret five, but on four strings now, so covering the D string. And the second finger is going to go on fret six uh, of the third string, so that's C sharp. So we should know that's C sharp now. Um, and that gives us an A bass. Uh, it's actually kind of a bluesy sound, so we've got a G natural in there as well. C sharp, an E, and an A. So that will sound like this. Now, I'm not going to play all uh, of those strings. What I'm going to do, I'm actually going to play the A, the fourth, third, and second, I am A. I've been through all the techniques in my other videos, uh, so I'm not going to uh, go on about uh, left and right hand techniques here. So the first one we have is this A bass. We got another A bass. I'll go through the rhythms in a moment. And then we put finger three on fret seven of the second string, F sharp. So now you can hear kind of more of a, uh, a Latin-y feel uh, to the sounds of the chord. So we get the normal A major or A major seventh. Sorry, A seventh we should call that, not A major. So a major is the chord and the seventh we call the dominant note. Uh, it's not G sharp from the A major scale, but G natural. Now then we add the F sharp in. Okay, so that's our first one. Let me look at the rhythms now that we're playing. I won't do the little lead up hook that goes before each bar. Eh? Uh, we're going to talk about the rhythms. If we count the rhythms, I've done two beats in a bar uh, and we get one and two and one and two. One and two and one and two. Okay. Uh, another way we can learn these is to clap them, of course. One and two and one and two. Or a technique I like to use quite a lot, really, um, although I don't substitute it all the time because I do like people to learn to count as well, um, is to use some words uh, to help us learn a rhythm. So I just came up here with a um, typical British thing. I like my fish and chips. I like my fish and chips. One and two and one and two. Okay, so we get uh, the idea of the rhythm now. So let's just play that and see what we get. So we get one and two and one and two. Okay, I'll do it slowly. One and two and one and two. Okay, and I'll put a little staccato on that two of the last bar as well, just to uh, tighten the rhythms up and make it sound like we've got a nice Latin American rhythm going on uh, from the bossa nova, of course. So, uh, final bit to add before I go to the next example. Uh, we're going to play uh, like a syncopated feel, so we're going to start an offbeat for the little hook, the little run-up that goes with it. It's very, very simple. E, G natural, 
G sharp. So we get one and two and one. If I go to the A, go okay, start of the the bar A part. So again, one and two and. Okay, so now I'm going to play an open A and put my hand in the bar A position. One and two and one and. Sorry, I played the wrong uh, strings there. So now I'm going to put my uh, play the hook and put my hand ready in the bar A position. One and two and one and two and one and two. Okay, so um, a good, good, nice little hook to play. Uh, gives us this offbeat, syncopated feeling. It's a little awkward to count, but try to get used to it. One and two and one and two. Okay, and then you start to build it up. Do little bits to time, remember. Okay, so we go to example two now. Example two, we've got a, uh, well, I put a D major chord here. So uh, let's think of our notes for D major, D, F sharp. This is the triad notes, of course, and an A. So I've got that on string five, fret five for my D. So it's a five string bar A now. F sharp, we've just played that. Uh, that's on the seventh fret of string two. Uh, and an high A. We are going to play that high A this time, so. Okay, so there's my chord. However, what we're going to do, we're going to play a C natural uh, with that. So we get what's called a D seventh chord instead of the C sharp from the D major scale, C natural. So we get what's called D seven. People call it a dominant chord. D, C, that's that bluesy sound straight away. F sharp and A. Okay, so that's just a little bit of the rhythm. Uh, and then we're going to... Uh, the second part, so we get one and two and, now here's our next uh, bar, so I'm going to put finger four on fret seven on string one for the high B and we get this sound now. Again, more of that Latin uh, American, uh, Latin American uh, sound to it. So we get one and two and one and two, staccato on the end there to help us. Um, and the run up to that is uh, very similar, but now we can put the bar across all five strings very simply. So we can go uh, it's A, C natural, C sharp, flatten the hand for the D, and there's our bar at the fifth fret, and we can prepare the fingers to go down. So what we're going to get now is one and two and one and two and one and two. So I'll repeat that nice and slowly. One and two and one and two and one and two. Okay, so that's our D major one done. So I mentioned earlier that uh, we're going to play six string bar A's and I'm just going to go back to the A major now and show you how you can do that. So we get our run up, G natural, G sharp from the E bass of course, all across now. So we've got low A on fret five. Uh, of the sixth string and now I'm just going to put my C sharp down and play okay so I didn't need an open A this time and a four string bar A and that's quite convenient if you want to do this E okay and just lie a flat bar A across there um, so you've got a choice four string or six string bar A um, for the A major shape. Um, example three, uh, we're going to play uh, a fifth string bar A, five strings uh, there, a uh, little run up, A, A sharp, A sharp, okay, which sometimes we know as B flat, but we'll call it A sharp this time, and harmonic notes, just the same name, and of course the same sound, a uh, different name, same sound. Okay, so one and two and uh, up comes the hand to five uh, strings, finger three, okay, goes on fret seven, so it's like the D major one really, okay, there's at fret five, and now it's at fret two, okay, finger three on the fourth fret of the second string, two frets away from the bar, right? so we've got B, D sharp, F sharp, that's the uh, triad notes from the B major chord. Uh, we're going to play an open A, third string, uh, just as we did on the five string for the D major one. So now we get this sound. One and two and now we're going to put a slight change. Instead of finger four going 
G sharp directly underneath uh, the third finger. We're going to put finger two on fret three. So we're going to get a slightly different sound now. Okay, instead of... Okay, you can hear the difference. It's really nice to uh, start to hear the differences between these sounds. And when I'm playing songs or making them up myself and just improvising or composing, uh, often what I'll do, I'll take these chords and if I think Latin American, so... Okay, I'll start with that shape and then I'll think to myself, shall I add that sixth, uh, as we know it, or the thirteenth from the B chord, the G sharp, or shall I add a minor sixth, so G natural, but often we call that the augmented fifth, the, sh the sharp five, or the raised fifth, so F sharp to G natural. Um, just get used to these names uh, and start playing them and just hear the difference because uh, once you kind of hear them, you can just pick them out in different songs. And when you're doing your own songs, it's fantastic. You can just start to uh, make your own up, which is exactly what I did this with this song, of course. So we get one and two and one and two and one and two. Get the idea. Example four. Okay, so we've got an E major. This is not a bar A, but it's something you're going to come across all the time around grade fours, fives, and so on. Um, and it's just something that we really should know by now. So we've got two F sharps down to F natural. One and two and one. Lovely little run taking us to the E bass there. One and two and one. Finger one G sharp, of course, on fret three. Finger four or finger three, it's your choice, whatever's most comfortable with your hand. Um, I tend to use finger four a lot for frets three on the second and first string. So uh, one, uh, sorry, E bass, one and two and, yeah, one and two and. Now I'm going to add F sharp with finger two. Staccato on the end there. So we get one and, sorry, one and two and one and two and one and two. Okay, so there's our shapes. Um, really just go back, step through this video, just a little bit at a time, um, and learn these chord shapes. Um, so you've got uh, Open five strings, uh, open fifth string and a four string bar A with the major. It stops the second finger trying to reinforce the first finger all the time, of course. And you get a major sound. You can make that with six strings by just going to the low, uh, barring across all six. Let's play the pattern that I did. Strings uh, four, three and two there. Finger three goes on to fret seven, of course. Uh, two frets along from the bar A for the D. D on the fifth string there, fifth fret. Okay. B, just take that down to the second fret. The hand just has to move down. Um, and then an E major, seventh chord, dominant seventh, uh, with adding the second note, F sharp with the scale. So you get that Spanish -y or Latin American sound again. Okay, so the bossa nova study that I put underneath just uses all these. Uh, no need for me to really go through it. The simple fact is uh, you're going to play these patterns. So you get one and two and one and two and three and four. Break for a bar. Okay, really handy thing to do when you're composing and not trying to play every bar one after the other is just put a break bar in there uh, and just reset your counting. Uh, it's quite handy because uh, I'll just try completely on the spot improvisation. I'll probably get it totally wrong. But what this allows you to do is to go like this. One and two and one and two and three and four. One. Okay, so I just played around with some notes there. And it's great fun for just learning how to just improvise some little riffs and some tricks uh, to help you play a rhythm guitar part, which is really what we're doing, and then adding some solos. The only thing I want to mention is right at the very end, um, we get a uh, our A chord again. Rest, and now I've just put F natural, okay, instead of F sharp, okay, as that raised fifth, E, fifth note of the A major chord, uh, going to uh, the F natural, so, uh, or you can call it a minor sixth, it just depends how you want to call it, really. Um, 
and you'll often hear that at the end of songs, just giving us a, like an ending which is telling us it's coming to the end because I've softened it down and, and held it, but it adds a twist to it. So it's not like a perfect ending where you just get it all the uh, triad notes from a chord, you just get a little twist, and it's something quite often used in songs. Um, so there you go, have fun with those, learn some sounds, learn some shapes, and you can start improvising yourself. <laughs>